Hello viewers, I am Amit Pandit. Welcome again to my channel ABC. It means Amit's Biology Classes. Today I am here to discuss biology of class 12th standard in English. Chapter 1 Reproduction in Organisms. We must overcome COVID 19 situation by lockdown and other government guidelines very soon. Stay safe at home and start studying all the subjects without any delay. And I am here to help you regarding your biology or life science. According to this first chapter, we have to know about reproduction in different organisms. First of all, definition of reproduction. Reproduction is a biological process by which new similar organism or organisms are produced to continue inherit with the variation and maintain existence of own species mainly by two methods sexual and asexual now parent means who produces and offspring means the young ones not only this first of all we have to know about the lifespan and how it differ in different organisms as in various plants and animals we can see from one day to thousands of years lifespan includes few other important features like birth growth maturity for reproduction reproduction aging or senescence and obviously the death at last so stages of lifespans are juvenility reproductive maturity aging and senescence and death now for lifespan we can see the time between birth to death mayfly and cicada having only one day lifespan butterfly two weeks fruit fly one month house fly four months not all fly having the same lifespan rice plant four month wheat plant about five month jellyfish one year approx rose plant eight to ten years in indian weather crow 15 years dog 16 to 18 years cow 20 to 25 years parrot 50 years but only live 15 to 20 years in case horse approx 60 years elephant 65 to 75 years tortoise 200 to 300 years very long lifespan banyan tree approx 250 to 300 or more years as an example banyan tree of botanical garden kolkata of west bengal we know it previously sequoia plant having longest lifespan yet known and that is 3000 to 4000 years approx we are humans may live 60 to 80 years on an average up to 70 years hence we cannot observe all the organisms lifespan ourselves rather believing on others experience and carbon dating system for age determination may be given as priority we will discuss about sexuality in organism bisexual or hermaphroid organism plants pumpkin datura pea china rose mango and animals like tapeworm earthworms etc that we know previously unisexual organisms plants date palmyra or palm papaya and animals fish frog snake birds all mammals including human those all having male and female in different bodies separately another sexuality called intersex found in animal like humans when they may rarely have both the sexes in the same body but poorly developed due to some genetic abnormality so reproductively inactive or unable to produce or infertile plants like cucumber and maize are monoecious plant as those all have both the sexuality in one plant but in case of marchensia and papaya those are dioecious plant as they have male and female flowers in different plant body not in cell here self fertilizing organisms may be called homothallic when they can produce both the working gamete male and female in same thallus like mucor and mainly cross fertilizing organisms are called heterothallic as they produces 
each walking gamete, male or female, in different thallus, like in rhizopus. On the basis of flowering times in the life, plants are three types monocarpic, pausicarpic, and polycarpic. Monocarpic plants, those flowers once in lifetime, as annuals, rice or maize, biannuals, carrot or radish, perennials like bamboo. We know bamboo flowers once in 40 to 50 years and dies by drying up entire cluster just after flowering and fruiting. Pausicarpic plants, those flowers two to four times only in lifetime. As an example, plantago, commonly called flea warts. Polycarpic plants, who flowers and reproduces more than five times in a lifetime, most of the perennial plants like china rose, mango, any other plants. Now, basic characteristics and significance of reproduction. Characteristics replication of DNA along with synthesis of RNA and other important biochemical substances, increase in number of cells along with the number of organisms, formation of unit of reproduction, gametes or spores, whatever required, and significance increasing in number, inheritance of the genetic characters, creation of variety by mutation and helps in evolution, gene transfer and maintaining existence of species along with maintaining balance of organisms in the environment. Method of reproduction. There are two types of reproduction. Sexual mode unit as gametes and asexual mode unit as spores. The special asexual mode of reproduction in plant is vegetative mode of reproduction where new plant occur from any other part of the plant body other than seeds. Another mode of special reproduction found in some plant and animal species called parthenogenesis, where unfertilized eggs directly produces a new organism. Example, in case of ants and bees, males are produced from unfertilized eggs directly. Now, we have reached to the end of our today's video for class 12 standard CBSC or IAC board. First chapter's first part we have completed. Hence, we will meet very soon with next part. Thanking you all again for today. Please keep viewing my videos. If you understood the topic and find it useful, then you must like it, share it and click on the bell icon and subscribe. Also give comment for any type of suggestion or question in your mind. Stay at home and be safe during increasing lockdown for novel coronavirus attack and learn every moment. See you again soon. Goodbye.